Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a great Monday. Well today we're going to be working on the May Deer cross stitch kit pre-stamped of Aurora Borealis. Yeah, let's get into some blues because yeah, I like them blues. And I think we're just going to pick up right where I left off the last time. Whoops, got to have my thimble. Or I'll be jamming my needle end into my finger. And that will not be good. So what's everybody up to? Are you working on stuff? Or did you go back to work? Or you know, what are y'all doing? Because it seems like I am not doing much of anything these days. Hey. <sighs> No, I'm off again today, which is a good thing. At least for me it is. Let's see where I'm going here. Just trying to use up this piece of thread and then we can get into another area. Let's see, yesterday um, I worked a little bit on the violets. And I worked on the Bristol Sampler a little bit. Damn, what else? Good gravy. I can't even think. Yesterday I had to go out and go um, to the grocery store and go. Nothing else was really open, so I went and did the laundry. Woohoo! Boy, big weekend. I'm telling you. I am telling you. My daughter was busy organizing her yard. And she didn't want any help. She was good. Dad had control of the kids. So that absolved me of even having to go over there. So that was okay. Let them handle it every once in a while. And I listened to my uh, audiobook most of the day, The uh, Scorpion's Tale. It was really good. I, I finished it, of course. I was up until 2.30 in the morning listening. In between there, before I ever got to bed, I took a nap in the middle of the afternoon. Two and a half hours. Not tired at all. And, uh, yeah, that's about all she wrote for yesterday. Watch some Floss Tube, of course. So, that was a good thing. <coughs> Hush, Molly. <coughs> hey, really? <coughs> so, not, not too terribly much going on this last weekend. I'm telling you, I just... I don't know what's wrong with me. I was going to go and walk down by the river and all that today, but it's still, it's just muddy, you know, because all this stuff has been melting for two or three days, and it's just a mess, so we're not going there. Not at all. We'll give it a couple more weeks. Let it dry out. I don't know. We're supposed to maybe get, um, trying. I'm trying, guys. Whoa, sorry. This is an 11 count, by the way, before I forget to tell you. Ush. And it's not too, it's big, but it's not too terribly bad. I almost went from the top. That won't happen, not with pre-stamped. Yes, I put a knot in the back because, you know, it's just easier. I can't figure out how to do the loop method with three strands of floss, so I'll have to look that up and see if there is such a thing. But it doesn't work too well for me. So, and I know other people do, oh, where you pull up the 
the thread and you leave it kind of, let's say, on top and then you just stitch over it. Well, I'm not coordinated enough for that. Not at all. Well, I wonder how the expo went. I hope everybody did good. Everybody worked, I think, hard enough to get there. So, come on, bring on those new patterns because, you know, I have nothing else to do. Nothing. Nothing to do at all. I'm just out of projects. Sheesh. Right. As one lady said, if I live 400 years, I might be able to finish some of this stuff if I stop buying things tomorrow. Yeah, I thought that was, that's so me. Yeah, well, that's okay. We'll have things to pass on to our, as our legacy. And who knows what my kids or my grandkids will be doing in 15, 20 years. Not a clue. Could not say. Oh, I missed one right there. This is a little difficult to see because it's so confetti, but I figure if we get one color in there, it'll be a little easier to read. That's okay. Because you got lines going in that direction, and then you got like half triangles, and it's pretty difficult. But this thread is really nice. I like it. These May Deer kits are just just great. I don't think I've bought any more other than that one last one time. I think I got six of them from them. So. But. Yep. I like every one of them. There's not a thing wrong with any of them. And they're nice and easy to read. And they're stamped on the fabric really good. So, yeah. yeah it's a good thing. Gotta have a drink of coffee. I put my coffee way over here. On my other table. So that I don't, when I'm flopping this thing up and down, I don't knock over my coffee. It's a wide table, but it isn't quite that wide. Whoops, we're just not going to go that way. <coughs> so I'm making progress on the Bristol, and that's a good thing. I've got two more pages to go of going across. I just got tired of looking at it last night and just couldn't deal. I just sat there and listened to my my book on Audible and didn't do much of anything. For part of it I stitched, but after a while I just can't see. And those uh, letters are kind of not hard to read. They're just in depth, if you will, they're not like a single single line of stitching just to make the letter because some of them have three lines and two lines and oh yeah, no. It just, it takes a hot moment to make even one. But that's okay. I'm liking it. Just liking it. Oops, almost put that stitch in the wrong place. So, what's planned for this week? I have no idea. How's that? Not, not a whole lot. I am going to get that, uh, I looked on Amazon, and that Seaside, what is it called? Seaside Lights Lighthouse. Jeez, if I could just talk. Um, it's supposed to come in today, but 
it probably won't be here till later this afternoon. So, and the, um, we'll call them Mag Eyes because I don't remember what it was actually specifically called on Amazon. I'm sure it wasn't called Mag Eyes. I'm sure that's a brand that I've heard of. And I just keep calling it that. But it'd be nice to get that and I'll see how how well or not so well that they work. You know, or how long it takes me to get a headache. I don't know. We'll see. But like I said, I take breaks. I have to. I have to get up and walk around and go do something else and then come back and sit down. Because if I sit too long, everything in my body freezes up. So, about every 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Sometimes it's longer. But not too bad. Just been doing a lot of sitting for two or three days, and it just doesn't help my poor old body. Oh, crap! It always does that about the time I get there. Let's see where I'm at here. Got to take off the thimble so that I can tie this in a knot because getting it back into the needle is not good. So I tie it two or three times, depending on how long the thread is, because that won't work. But if it's real small, I can only get about two. Two ties in it. Oh, we got another piece of thread. We got to put in our little orc basket over there. Fold the end of that thing down, or it doesn't want to work. Doesn't look like we're making a lot of progress here. Whoops. I do need that needle. Not yet separated my thread before it started so that it'd be a lot easier. <sighs> There's a lot of those little things. There's extra this color. It's 825, isn't it? Eight. Oh, 824. Sorry. 824. I have had 825. I've done something called for that 825 that I used. All right, I worked a little bit on the long and winding road. Got a little bit of it done. That's what else I worked on yesterday. I'm trying to get that road up through the middle so that I can go left or right, so. You know how it goes, folks. You know how it goes. I watched uh, Brenda and the Serial Starter. had to watch, not watch it twice, but start watching it twice. Because I made the mistake of turning on my book and like, oh, we're hooked again. Okay, well, okay. Uh, you know, I didn't know what I wanted to do. So, I had to restart Brenda and the Serial Starter again. And then I watched it all the way through. And Nicola was on hands across the sea. Such beautiful stuff. I can only wish to aspire to that level. But 
that's okay. It keeps you going and gives you something to reach for. Have to kind of get that out of the light or can't see where those half triangles are. I think that's a line. Figure out where to go next. <sighs> I think my daughter had to work and she's working double shifts this week. Well, not double doubles, but like working about 10 hour days when it's all said and done. Playing catch up. And helping out because some people were sick or something. I mean, I don't think they had COVID or anything. Just think they were sick, probably with a, a spring cold. That's what everybody seems to be getting around here. It's a spring cold. I know I kind of feel stuffed up, but I'm pretty sure it got to do with my wax melts that irritate my nose for about three days so I can only use them every so often what is the problem there we go gets all caught up in the end of the The needle, for some reason, just every once in a while, I must sew through something wrong. I think I'm on the right one here. So, not much else going. I missed the whole corner there. So sorry. The thing about this is you can back it back down and go back and try to stitch in the right general direction. Whoops, hang on guys. All right, guys, I am back. I had a telephone call I needed to take. Oh, goodness. So where were we and what were we talking about? So, yeah, I think I'll start that. Uh, oh, God, up in Tiram again. Seaside Lake House. Not Lake House. Lighthouse. When I get it. <laughs> now I'll try out the the uh, what do you call it the uh, magnification glasses things and see how that works it'll be quite different than using that ot light type thing We'll see how it all goes. And how well they work. And I'm glad it, you don't have to have them plugged in. You know. It, you just uh, charge it up with your uh, USB cord thing. So I thought that was pretty cool. I saw something on Facebook where this guy was talking about weird things, you know, just strange things that they had out there. Sorry. And uh, 
they had batteries that you plug in. They were rechargeable batteries, but you had a cord and it had, let's say, five, maybe six wires, you know, with the U.S., with that little port like you stick into your phone. I thought that was pretty cool. Not that I have anything that has rechargeable type batteries like that. But, yeah, and then you just plug the whole th thing in and and go from there. I just thought that was really weird. Just strange. Maybe I should have done the lines first. They would have been easier, but then I wouldn't have been able to see those half triangles because they get lost. I mean, you can see how dark this thread is. They'd have gotten lost in there for sure. Oh, come on. We're going to have to get rid of this thread. I said seriously it doesn't look like my cord thing is way over there Jeez, I don't know how it got to be so far over there this thread is nice and soft it's not stiff it's wonderful Oh, come on. Whoops. Almost started on the wrong side. So, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to be working on this week. Other than that lighthouse. We'll get it started. I don't know. Been looking around here, looking around there. Nothing new anywhere. I did kind of like that one of Nicola Parkman's uh, Hands Across the Sea. I want to say Where Flowers Bloom, maybe. Might be the name. Yeah. It's pretty nice. And it's little. I do have some, uh, what do you call it? Country French Cafe Latte, which is the lightest of the country line from Witchlet. And uh, it would be a perfect size. It's not very big material. I bought two separate little pieces to do some things on or to have, you know, if I wanted to start something. But I haven't bought any. Uh... Crap, get in there. Um, what do you call it? Even weave anymore. I haven't bought any more of that since I've made that last big order. So, but, and I don't know that I will or I won't. How's that? I like it. I like the way it looks. I love that wheat. Oh my gosh, that wheat Lagana is awesome. The color is just absolutely gorgeous. I may get another piece of it just to have it for uh, some of those uh, autumn things. Just a little bit. But, I don't know. Just haven't made any decisions. And I still haven't purchased any spring things. You know, with rabbits and bunnies. I mean, I've come to the conclusion that Brenda Gervais her rabbits look the best. I haven't seen any others that I really like. 
that have rabbits and flowers and stuff. So, I don't know. I'm just, maybe I'm just not a spring girl. I like winter things. I like Christmas things. I like, uh, love autumn. So, maybe I'm just not a spring girl. Can't figure out what to get where, you know. I told you that my other stuff from uh, Everyday E-Crafts has been shipped, so I'm figuring somewhere around the, the 21st, maybe the 21st through the 30th, it's somewhere around there that I might get it, all depending on the mail and how that all goes. And some days, stuff just shows up. So, because I think I got that, it came like UPS or something weird and it was outside it was one of those times that Molly barked and I told her to be quiet and I should have gone out and there it was just sitting there they just laid it out there so it got here okay so we're good But it did say that it had been shipped, so I'm excited. And maybe I'll have some giveaways when I get those in. You never know. Stuff could happen. I'm trying to figure out where that next line is. Alright guys, well I think that this is going to be about it today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell, and that way you will know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Let me put this here. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, and all the good stuff. Let me see if I can bring you in so you can see how much we've gotten done. So it's coming along. It's a little hard to see, but... We're starting to see the outline of this this tree here. Not outline, you know. Some of the definition in the trees. So we'll have to do a different color to get it to look a lot different. Maybe I'll go back and do all them lines that I can't stand. All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless. And keep stitching. Bye-bye.